a young man in Hartford who is part of the foster care system, hmm. taking a life-changing journey to Peru. News 8's Sarah Cody tells us about the Sun Scholar's latest trip in today's Connecticut Families Report. Growing up in foster care, um, I struggled with education, struggled with trusting people. Due to his tough beginnings, Zion Keynes also struggled when he was heading to college until he became involved with Sun Scholars Inc., a nonprofit that partners with the Department of Children and Families. Staff there taught him study skills and organization. I was getting like C's and D's and they helped me get from C's to D's to A's and B's. Keynes also recently accompanied Sun Scholars on a trip to Peru, funded by the Robert and Anthony Dudchick Memorial Fund, created after the loss of two brothers who were adopted. Rob loved to travel and had been to this South American country. Traveling outside the country is like something you would never dream of. In Peru, we went to Machu Picchu, we went to Nazca Lines, we went and did a tour of Lima. Executive Director Chris Scott says the incredible experience gave Keynes and others a new perspective. For us, having grown up in foster care, having come from lives where, you know, we've been homeless, we've come from hardship, you go to Peru and you recognize the global privileges that we do still have. You come back to the United States and like, wow, I haven't had it easy necessarily, but I have so much opportunity to build my life. Keynes is now studying to become a social worker and he's creating this comic book. He's called Sir Braggadocious. With a hero that is guiding youth. It's been a big turnaround for me. This 20-year-old is grateful to Sun Scholars, and he's excited for the future. They really helped me get back on track with my grades. They was like, they really helped me find my major. If it wasn't for them, I wouldn't be at where I'm at. In 2025, Sun Scholars is creating a year of giving, where the young adults will lead community projects and then travel to a national park. And to learn more about this organization, you can just head to the Connecticut Family section of WTNH.com. I'm Sarah Cody, News 8.